Hello friends, I am Dr. T. N. Patil presenting you today about the DG16 Endodontic Explorer. The name DG16 Endodontic Explorer comes after Dr. David Green who introduced it. The number 16 represents the long straight tip which is 16 mm in length. So it was Dr. David Green who introduced DG16 in the year 1951. The instrument was designed to overcome the difficulties faced by the clinician and endodontist to locate the majority of the canal orifices in the posterior tip using straight flow, interdental explorer and the shepherd scope. So, the purpose of DG16 introduction was to aid the clinician for better endodontic treatment procedure. DG16 endodontic explorer has a long and thin shank which enables the exploration of the orifice helps to determine the angle of the canal orifice as the canal exits apically from the chamber, improves the tactile sensation to locate and enlarge the canal and also helps in removal of calcification in soft tissue or the coronal bulk chamber. So till now we have discussed about the introduction, purpose and the application of DG16 Endodontic Explorer. Moving forward to discuss about the instrument design, the DG16 is made of spring tempered stainless steel so that they retain their shape and resist breakage. DG16 is a double ended hand instrument which has a long tip with a sharp point, can also be made by special type of alloy which can provide flexibility, strength, tactile sensitivity, and resilience needed by the machine for the exploration of the orifice. We learned about the design of the DG16 Endodontic Explorer. Are there any variations of DG16 Endodontic Explorer? Yes, there are two variations of DG16 Standard Endodontic Explorer. They are DG16 by 17 and DG16 by 23. As the name suggests, it is the combination of DG16 and number 17 Interdental Explorer and Shepherd's Hook that is number 23 in number 23 Shepherd's Hook Explorer respectively. Each of these instruments have a specific function that enables the successful performance of both non-surgical and surgical procedures. Moving forward to learn a little bit more of each of these instruments. First and foremost, DG16 Endodontic Explorer. Here, the tips are 16 mm in length, set at different angles of 45 degree and 70 degree. It is a part of complete line of endodontic hand instruments used for endodontic applications. Tips are short and strong to improve the tactile sensation and shank angulations are ideal for both anterior as well as the posterior tooth. Coming on to the next endodontic explorer that is DG16 by 17. The number 17 explorer is an interdental explorer used to determine the presence of tooth decay, to detect calculus and to examine parental pockets and percolation and also to detect the restoration using its back action. Coming on to the last variation that is DG16 by 23 endodontic explorer which consists of number 23 shepherd's hook explorer which helps in removal of pulp stone or calcification in the coronal pulp chamber. So, Till now, we have discussed about the details of DG16 Endodontic Explorer and its variations. Some of the additional points that can be kept in mind are about the weight and size of the DG16 Endodontic Explorer. So, ending the presentation, the knowledge of this presentation is gained from the following literatures. The first one is historical perspectives, the DG16 Explorer from James L. Gatman and the instrument closure or the instrument catalog that is endodontic essentials or endodontic product catalog from Infrivy and endodontic and restorative instruments from Nordheim. So these are the references. So, thanks for your valuable time. If you found the video informative, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.